Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog dot stamp with Elaine dot com. Today's project is a sneak peek of a celebration coordination die set called Four Seasons, which coordinates with the Level Two Celebration Choice Painted Seasons Cling Stamp Set and the Painted Seasons Designer Series Paper. I'm not going to be using the papers but I will be using the die set and this is the card we'll be making a variation of this one which is in Coastal Cabana and I'm using the lined alphabet bundle in the annual catalogue this is quite a high ticket item but it's ever so useful and it will certainly bring you up to speed with getting the Level 2 Celebration Freebie. This edgelet alphabet die will cut out letters like that. You have to finish it off by cutting through the H. I'll show you in a minute as I go along. But I will also insert the video into my blog post that Stamping Up produced to explain how to use this layering alphabet dies. Both the die set and the lined alphabet each carry 34 characters. These are international characters as well to incorporate, you know, the French and German language and also punctuation marks. My sample card in Coastal Cabana and this gorgeous two-toned uh, ribbon. But I will do one in lemon lime twist with as my card base which measures four and one eighth inches by eleven and three quarter inches that's ten point five centimeters by twenty nine point eight centimeters folded in half you also need a scrap of lemon lime twist to cut out the leaves I'm using coastal cabana which has been cut at five and a half by three and three quarter inches as is the white whisper white card insert both of these measure five and a half by three and three quarter inches that's 14 centimeters by 9.5 centimeters so one's for the top and one's for inside then we have a smaller piece that lays on top of the coastal cabana piece and this one was measures five and three eighths inches by three and five eighth inches that's 13.7 centimeters by 9.2 centimeters you need some whisper white cardstock to <coughs> die cut the extra flower and I'll try and remember to steal a bit of cardstock from the coastal cabana piece to cut out my letters we'll need some glitter enamel dots and the lemon lime twist ombre ribbon, lemon lime twist and coastal cabana ink, the big shot and magnetic platform. So let's get started. I need the H and the I and also the edgelet here which helps to orient your die the right way up. So I want to cut the letter I so the rounded bit is at the top and the rectangular bit is at the bottom. So bring in my magnetic platform. I've got my base cutting plate here. Place my cardstock in there. I'm going to do this in reverse so that um, the letters are facing me. So um, I've put the top, what would have been the top cutting plate on the bottom. Then I put my dies on top with the cutting edge face up. I'm going, I can't steal it from this. I'm going to have to cut a strip because I forgot about this edgelet. It's going to cut right through the cardstock. So I'll just cut just enough to cover that letter, place my 
bottom cutting plate on top that will be the plate that's already heavily marked but I've got fresh clean plates so that you can see what I'm doing and not look at it through a haze so now pretend that's my bottom cutting plate on top and then I'm ready to run it through the big shot so I'll be back and I'll do the same with this letter now you see I've cut my letters so I shall carry on finishing cutting them this is the eye I'm going to use this image here and stamp that in Coastal Cabana onto the smaller piece of Whisper White cardstock and also stamp one on my scrap of Whisper White so I can lay that on top and I'm going to die cut some blanks um, but this time I'll die cut them in the lemon lime twist and I'll go and do that off camera so I want to show you a little trick sometimes with these <coughs> very fine stems you might miss cut it so if you want to prevent heartache you, you can die cut it first and then just plonk it on the stamp afterwards like so so you need to hold down the leaf at uh, the thin end and position it on top of the stamp and then just press with your thumb so lay it down and anchor it so it doesn't move There you go, perfect. Can you see? Now comes my favourite bit, which is assembling it all together. I'm going to pop that flower up. Oh, it does help if you take the backing paper off. Grab some glue dots. Just going to put a bit of adhesive on the back here just to anchor the ribbon okay time to put the ribbon off so I put some adhesive on the back to anchor it um, right over left north and south loop it bring it round tuck it in Hang on to that to make sure it doesn't move and just pull it tight. Make sure then that's in the right place. Snip it off with my ribbon scissors. Adhesive on the back. Pop that on my letters on grab one of the bigger enamel dots to put on the corner here and the smaller one on the top adhesive from the back to my card base just one last bit of stamping adhesive on the back put it to the inside of the card so that's the sneak peek for celebration coordination with the four seasons die set Pop back tomorrow for launch day and see the rest. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye.